What's up YouTube, it's your boy Douglas Sam and today I'll be talking about the Samsung Smart View app that I just downloaded for my Samsung 10.1 Note. Um, this app is also available for um, devices like the Galaxy S3, Galaxy Note 2, Galaxy Note 10.1 like I just said and the Galaxy Tab 2. I'm assuming it will, you know, for future f uh, devices like the S4, it will be available for and as well as the Note 3 when those come out respectively. All right. So let's go ahead and go into the app real quick. Let me zoom in so you can see. You see where the blue cursor is around the Samsung? That is the app itself right there. By the way, this right here is my off-brand Samsung keyboard. I bought it for $25 off of eBay. I have videos on that on the white keyboard and the black keyed keyboard um, that you can get for your uh, Samsung 10.1 Note specifically. Um, so make sure you check those videos out if you're interested and um, that should answer any questions you have on that. So let's go ahead and click on the app itself. Um, and if you notice right away, it says manually uh, connect on the bottom right. Um, if you don't have a Samsung TV, I mean, I'm sorry, if you don't have a 2013 Samsung Smart TV, I would suggest you click the manual um, connection button. Now, before I go any further, this app is a Samsung Smart TV to Samsung device, which I mentioned uh, before conversation so Samsung smart TV to Samsung device this not this if you do not have a Samsung smart TV this app will not work for you the purpose of this app is to mirror what is on your Samsung smart TV to your mobile device whether it be a tab note or phone now before I continue there uh, the, the TVs that is smart the smart TVs that is compatible with is the um, 2011 D7000 series, which I have. I have a 55 D7000 2011 series. Uh, so D7000 above or above for um, 2011. And for the 2011 plasmas, it would be D8000 or above. The 2012 LEDs would be ES7500 or above or the plasma E8000 or above. For the 2013 models, it would be the F4500 or above. And for the plasmas, it would be the F5500 or above. For 2013, unfortunately, right now, the F9000s or above do not work with this app for whatever reason. That can change by the time you're looking at this video. Um, so definitely look at the App Store on, um, you know, updates on that, whatever. Okay, so again, oh, one other thing, key thing, I know somebody's gonna ask, this has to be hooked up to your wireless net, I mean, to your network. Um, so your TV could be wired or wirelessly hooked up to your network, but obviously your mobile device would be Wi-Fi, right? Because there's no Ethernet uh, port on your phones or on your tabs or on your notes. So obviously that would have to be Wi-Fi. Both of them need to be hooked up to your network or no go. It's that simple. This is the only way to do it. There's no dongle to uh, emulate what's on your TV. Well. I, I'm not even going to get into that. That's that's what it is. All right, so let's get into what you see up there. See that? It says TV, HDMI, PC. If I go over here, um, it just says DLNA. I can't get DLNA to work. TV, actually, when I click TV, it will change the input of my TV to TV. Unfortunately, I have a set-top box. Everything is hooked up to my y, um, my surround sound receiver, so I don't use the TV input at all. So, But if you do it, you, here right here is your volume controls for the TV. You can mute the TV. You can change the channels up and down. For me, I don't have anything hooked up. Now, this is, I guess, the PC input in the back of my TV. See, it says universal remote isn't set up for this device. So you'll only be able to view the screen. You need to run universal remote setup to control it. Okay, but I don't have anything hooked up to my PC. Everything is coming from my HDMI to, uh, to my receiver. So everything from my receiver is going from, uh, I mean, everything is from my receiver is going to my TV to HDMI 2. So that's where all the action's at. If you see up here, it says view. 
When I click view, it's going to play what's on my TV. Now, before I even do that, I'm going to unmute my. Sorry, I'm going to unmute my receiver so you can sit here proof. This situation, you know, that I'm playing something. So first take is on, and I'm going to hit view now, and that should come up. I'm going to turn the volume up. So you know, it's a situation where do I take less or do All I, right. you know? Well, let me a situation where I, I could, you know, fix the camera a little better. Too loud, I do think, and, and, I, and the word O gives me issues. O and now, sometimes, like right now, it does buffer a little bit. I know players, because if they're trying um, to owe you anything. I think um, it would work smoother with a 2013 TV. And being that it just came out, it's kind of geared towards, it does work with the older TVs, as I mentioned, but this is really geared for the newer TVs with the higher, um, with the extra features and stuff. But it works, as you can see. So right here, I can turn the volume up and down on my device, whether it be a phone, tab, or note. And I can, I'm can i gonna go ahead and mute it here. So again, the purpose of this is to mirror anything that's playing on your TV, whether it be a Blu-ray, a, a movie, or any a, anything on your TV, but it cannot mirror your smart hub. I don't know why. Um, so like I said, I had this for my Samsung 7-inch uh, Tab 2, and it didn't do the smart hub there either. But that, I've, I've been doing that. I had that out two years ago, and I'm surprised in 2013 that we still stuck with that issue. And part of the reason why is the Samsung Smart Hub isn't an input. Well, it is an input, but it's like an internal input. It's not a physical input. Like you can't plug anything into the Smart Hub input. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's not up here, but I'm figuring because it's Samsung, to Samsung, they should be able to improvise on that. I'm surprised they didn't up into, you know, even now in 2013. But anyway, just wanted to clear the air on that one. Now, if I click this, it'll go into full screen, right? If I hit the back button, it goes back, okay? So I think that's pretty cool. All right, so let me, uh, let me go ahead and, um, Turn on something else. Let me turn on my uh, DVR and see what happens. All right, that's my DVR right there. Go up and down just to show you a little bit. All right, and so I'm gonna put on a older first take, and so my DVR should be playing. Team, this off season, Jerry. Any second now. Now it is a couple seconds behind. It is like a two second lag or even three second, depending on your internet connection. It's Stephen A. Smith. How are you, Stephen? I'm doing wonderful. Ready to roll. Let's go. I like Let's it. Let's do it. Let's do it. No salute, though. I'm going to salute. Here we go. No salute today. <laughs> Only in person. I, I did it anyway. See? We have a big show planned. Just so you guys know, before we get to the first topic, we have Seahawks cornerback Richard Sherman. He will be joining us live shortly. Oh, yeah, this was a good show. I don't want to miss a thing. Meanwhile, All right. here's the first topic. Let me go ahead Even and mute. There are reports that say the Jets can... Put it on mute. All right, so this is my Wii U right here, right? My latest gaming system. I have a PS3 and an Xbox, but that's old news. So the Wii U is supposed to be... The newest thing, right? So let's go ahead and and uh, mirror that. Um, that's going to be on my TV screen in a second once I change my inputs. Wii U. There we go. <clears throat> and it should go there. See, there you go. Boom. So there you go, my Wii U right there. Okay, now of course I know somebody's gonna ask me, yeah, if I press this, no, it, it it's not gonna emulate my gamepad and and be the same as if I press it here on my gamepad. It's not going to do that. So no, the answer is no. I know somebody's gonna be asking me some silliness like that. Um, let's just have a bit, a little bit of fun. I'm gonna go on my Miiverse here. All right, um, put it back on mute. I'm gonna go into the YouTube community. Let's see, just to show you it's the same thing. And of course, you know, the comes with a stylus 
the uh, the Wii U. And I'm just gonna put Samsung r rules real quick, <laughs> just for fun. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go to post, and I'm gonna tap here. Oh. Oh yeah, you can't see that on the screen, but you'll see it in a second. Post. Cool. Alright, so you guys on the Wii U, check me out. My name is Douglas M on there too. So yeah, basically man, whatever is on your screen is going to come out on this. So I just want to just definitely show you guys that but I saw something here that I want to check out no you guys don't care but I think um, I'm gonna go into the uh, Nintendo eShop which is like the download center for the Wii U and I just thought I saw something oh my gosh punch out punch out is for 30 cents I am downloading that sucker later on today that's what I just wanted to confirm. Okay, 30 cents, that's a go. That's definitely a go. Oh, yeah. But anyway, I mean, that's I'm going to turn my TV back on. But that's just the gist of this video. Um, again, if you wanted to... Now, this is working off your, your Wi-Fi signal. So it's as good as um, whatever your Wi-Fi signal is. Um, so, you know, however long your Wi-Fi range is, it would work, uh, to that extent. But, um, it's pretty cool. Um, I hope you like what you saw. And, um, again, this works only with Samsung, uh, smart TVs, um, with, with your, uh, with your Samsung devices. No other way does this work. Um, and um, that's what that's that's basically it. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. Um, hit me up with any questions uh, that you may have. Um, and if anything, thanks for looking at my video. And um, I'm out later.